Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will be solving a guesstimate question, which is usually asked in many interviews, be it a product management interview or consulting interview. So let's get started. Today's question is to estimate the active Gmail users in India, right? But before that, I request you to pause the video and think through it. Also, please check other playlists and other videos from the i button on the top. As usual, the first step is to understand the question and ask any clarifying question to the interviewer. If you think about this question. we are asked to estimate the number of gmail users in india so what is the first thing that should come to your mind think for a minute so the first thing that should come to your mind is does this include gmail user including corporate user or user who are using it for personal use cases because many companies use google suite and hence gmail account but here we are thinking about the personal gmail account the second question which should be asked is what does it mean by active users why it is important to us because many people create their gmail id and don't use it for years or months so we have to clarify here we can assume that the interviewer means gmail active users are the one who send at least one email in the month so basically monthly active users is what we are referring to final question which we can ask is if we want us to calculate the desktop users or mobile users or both let us assume that he wants us to calculate both both type of users So the goal of the problem is to calculate Gmail active users in India who sends at least one email in a month. So this is how we can approach this problem. So first we can start with Indian population then we can bifurcate the Indian population into various age groups. After that we can think about the internet penetration and smart device penetration. Here we can ignore the age group which is less than 15 and more than 60 because we can fairly assume that they are either too young or too old to use Gmail. After that we can think about the Gmail market share because there are many other players as well like Yahoo, Hotmail, Outlook so we need to take market share of the Gmail into account. Once we do that then we have to think about the fraction of the people who are sending at least one email in a month. After this we have our answer ready. So this is the approach since we have discussed the complete approach it is time to fill the numbers. Indian population is around 1.4 billion. we can assume that 20% of the population lies between 0 to 15 that is around 280 million 30% of the population lies between 15 to 40 that is around 420 million another 30% of the population lies between 40 to 60 that is also around 420 million these are just the fair estimates always remember that interviewer is more interested in approach rather than these numbers you can always ask or discuss these number with the interviewer but the most important thing is to get the approach right Okay so moving forward rest 20% of the population lies between 60 to 80 that is around 280 million as we discussed earlier we will ignore the people less than 15 and more than 16 now we will assume that the people between 50 to 40 around 50% of the people have access to the internet and smart devices because in india people in rural areas still don't have access to the internet similarly we will assume that only 30% of the people between 40 to 60 have access to the internet and smart devices this will give us around 336 million people in total we can assume that 80% of the people use gmail and rest 20% of the people use other services like hotmail and yahoo this will give us around 268 million users who have personal gmail account but not all of them are active please note that 268 million are the gmail account but not all of them are active we can assume that only 60% of the people are active. that means only 60% of the people send at least one email in a month that gives us around 160 gmail monthly active users in india i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have any doubt please do comment in the comment section below i'll try to answer to your queries please subscribe to our channel or you can book a slot with us for any mock interview till then keep learning and keep watching